All right, good morning, Cardinals. Uh, happy Monday. Uh, this video is for Monday, March 30th, 2020. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, I uh, just uh, logged in here to BlackBot and wanted to kind of show you, uh, before I talk a little bit about today, I wanted to show you just kind of where I'm, I'm posting most of my stuff currently. So um, this is my faculty page, so it might look a little bit differently. But as you go into your classes, uh, click on your class and on the bulletin board, you're going to see my announcement for each class each day. Now, I'm going to be continue to post uh, all of this stuff to Classroom each day. If you've been checking there, you've probably been seeing the same a similar announcement uh, each day on Classroom. Um, but just to get you guys more familiar and aware with where things are, um, for my assignments, you'll probably see over in Assignment Center, um, you can go. You, don't have, you shouldn't see anything due for uh, today. Monday, March 30th. Um, but for, for instance, say Wednesday, if you look at future assignments, you'll see that you guys have a quiz uh, on Wednesday. Just getting you guys more and more familiar and used to using BlackBot. Um, so yeah, backing up, look at, it's called bulletin board each day is where you should view my class announcements, which is basically uh, my directions for class that day. So as you can see, um, today's class is watching the YouTube video. Um, and then chapter 10 of the Don Treader. Um, so just making sure you guys know where to look uh, for assignments and details and kind of where I'm posting stuff for class. Okay, so uh, before we get started with, with a couple things I have for you guys today, um, I first wanted to share the quote of the week. So if you remember on Monday mornings, uh, uh, our Monday classes, um, we would do 20 questions and share a quote. Um, the quote I thought I would share today is just pretty simple. The road to holiness goes through your neighbor. So what does that mean? Well, oftentimes we think, you know, loving God is kind of all about being spiritual and whatever. Oftentimes becoming a holy person is very practical. And oftentimes becoming a holy person uh, involves being open and aware to the needs of the people around you. I think it's especially important during these times to uh, think outside of ourselves. I think oftentimes um, during during these times, we constantly think about what we need versus putting the needs of someone else. Uh, so my challenge to you guys this week is to uh, become aware of the needs of your brothers and sisters or your mom and dad or even uh, your neighbors if you see them out and about. Um, just saying hi, seeing what you can do to help them and to be a little bit more uh, aware that, again, the road to holiness goes through your neighbor. Um, there is no love of God without love of neighbor. Okay, a couple quick uh, practical things. Simplifications. Um, so assessing kind of how last week went on my end, um, it's going to be much, much more simpler um, to follow a Monday through Thursday class schedule. So I remember I instructed you guys, uh, look for classwork on the days that you normally would have me. Well, that's a little bit complicated since we're not actually in the physical school building currently. So class schedule for this online course is Monday through Thursday. Okay, so what that means is each Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're going to have uh, one of these videos likely, but also some work to be done. Um, there's going to be nothing on Friday like no videos, nothing that I'm asking you guys to do except to complete uh, the classwork that I've given uh, the Thursday before. Um, so what, what that means, I'll get back to that, that in just a moment. Uh, what that means is I'm going to try to have a regular schedule for assignments as well. So uh, in addition to having class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, there's going to be a regular schedule for assignment. Basically on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to be giving you guys a graded assignment to complete. So obviously the Tuesday assignment is due the following day, which is Wednesday by 4 p.m. Um, and then the Thursday assignment is not due Friday by 4 p.m. It's due the following Monday by 4 p.m. So we have the entire weekend to do it. I think this is a very, very light, easy schedule to follow. Um, and it makes a lot more sense than, rather than trying to figure out um, what our normal uh, St. Michael schedule, which is already a little difficult to follow uh, when we're actually in the school building. So again, Monday through Thursday, two assignments, one given on Tuesday, one given on Thursday. Also one quiz per week, which will be based on uh, the Voyage of the Dawn Shredder, as well as my class lecture videos, much like this one. Okay. Um, last, your assignment for tomorrow. I want you guys to shoot me a message just to kind of check in. Again, um, no correspondence over email, preferably. I really prefer messages in BlackBot just so I can stay organized on my end. Um, send me any prayer intentions you'd like me to pray for you for. I think it's really important that um, 
continue to pray, continue to pray for each other. Um, so I'd love to pray for anything that you need prayers for. Uh, the secret word contained in this video is St. Joseph. Uh, that is for credit, a little bit of credit on Wednesday's quiz and any follow-up questions you have from this video. So again, trying to keep those communication lines open between me and you. Um, so any, any questions you have about, um, especially this stuff here, the simplified kind of schedule that, uh, that I think is going to work better for us, um, or any, any other questions about how class is going so far. Um, your assignment also for tomorrow is to read the Voyage of the Dawn Treader chapter 10. So last week I included in my announcement to read chapter nine. So make sure you have had that done. Um, and then your, your task for tomorrow is to read through chapter 10. Um, it's going to be helpful because on Wednesday you're going to have a quiz, which will, uh, be related to content from last week's video on John's gospel, um, all of the info from there, as well as questions regarding chapters 9 and 10. So how to start prepping is obviously making sure that you've read chapters 9 and 10. And then if you've done that already, and feel pretty confident in your knowledge of the story and kind of some questions I might ask you. Um, go back and review some of the notes on John's gospel from last week's videos. Okay, so for the sake of time, I think the video is getting long enough. Hope you guys have a great Monday. And again, shoot me that BlackBot message with any questions, the secret word, and uh, prayer intentions. God bless you guys.